I got a call from a customer last night that left a message on the voicemail um, fairly late, um, and I wanted to address it fairly quickly. He's a new user, and he's getting an out of Z error message. So when he loads the program onto the smart bench, uh, and it, it gives him an error saying that it can't get the tip of the tool down as far as it's being called to go um, in the, with the depth of cut. So uh, it's restricted to that one program. Uh, so what we want to check is a couple things, and this is how we do it. We're going to look at the, I'm using VCARV 11, uh, look at the thickness of the material. I want to make sure that we're touching off either on the top of it or on the machine bed, whichever is more convenient for you. I usually use the top of the material just because it's easy to get to if I'm putting a full sheet down. Um, and then the XY datum point is on the bottom left-hand corner. That doesn't really matter. What we're looking at is getting the tip of the tool, driving, being able to drive the tip of the tool down as far as it's being told to go. So say I'm going to cut uh, this circle out and I'm going to pocket it away or cut it and, and dispose of it. <laughs> and then do a, a dado here. There's two different operations um, that we're going to look at here. So, but the, the key thing is, where are we touching off the tool? So that when we put our touch probe to touch off the, the tool tip, we're putting it in the same spot that we're telling it that we're doing it in VCAR. So we're going to go from the material top and go from here. And we're going to jump over to the um, tool pathing side. One thing that happens here is if you come into the material setup and you decide, hey, I want to check my values and come back to the other side, to the design side, and leave that open, you can't. It's going to say the material setup's open for the tool path. So you want to, if you come over here and go into this material setup, you do want to tell it OK or cancel and close it. And then you can come back and check your material values. You check your material values right here. This is the screen that opens up when you first start the job. So we're going to jump back over. I know we're jumping back and forth a lot, but that's you'll see what we're doing in a bit. So then we're going to cut this, and we're going to cut this all the way out. I can, either, I can either pocket it and make dust, which is what I'll do. So T is the thickness of material, and I did an additional 20 thousandths. So that's 0.77 D. That's how far the tip needs to go, because I'm calling it that deep. I'm going to be into my spool board 20 thousandths. After I touch off the tool on the top of the material using the touch plate, uh, I'll use an end mill. That's fine. I'm not going to even look at the speeds or anything. And I'm just going to do a uh, raster setup. And I'm just going to pocket the circle to the 0.25 mill. And calculate it. And it's going to cut through the material, of course. And there we are. If we look at that, I'm going to preview visible. And we've got a nice hole. Now this, now this particular customer makes custom camping van, vans. So he's going to do a lot of things to reduce weight in the materials. If he can, he's going to cut patterns or circles, whatever, into the mater material tops to lessen the weight, but still allow it to be as structural as he needs for whatever the purpose of that part is. So if we wanted to make the G-code, we would click that on, save it out. Put that uh, to documents, Vectric, and just a uh, new, new folder called David. And in that folder, I'll put this, and that will be the first tool if there's multiple tools on this panel. So we're done. And so in that file, and in VCarve in the design end, we're going to touch off the tool on top of the material. I'm going to just put a quarter inch end mill in here. It's going to pocket that out. It's going to go down the thickness of the material, 0.75, plus another 20 thousandths into the spool board. That's 0.77 total. So when we, if we're getting an out of bounds error message after he loads the program, he's getting a yellow screen pop up, but it says that it's out of bounds in the Z, meaning that the tip of the tool cannot go down as far as it's being called to, which is 0.77 underneath the top, top of the material. So he, my guess is he's probably touched off, the, he probably has touched off the tool on the machine bed or has told it that he's going to touch off the tool on the machine bed here in his material setup. So my guess is what's happened is he is touching off the tool on the machine bed and then 
The software doesn't know that he did it from the machine bit, so it's trying to now drive another 0.77 deep. And this pendle can't go that far down. So this is what we want to check, that we're touching off on the surface or machine bed either way, but have it set that way. And then this, if we're going from the machine bed, the software on the other side, on the tool pathing side, knows that. And it's, it's going to come appropriately. It's not going to drive it the 0.77 into the machine bed. It's only going to go the 0 0.020, the 20 thousandths that we're overcutting the depth. I hope that makes sense. Uh, but that's what we're going to look for. Um, I'm going to call him in a bit. I just didn't, he's on a different time zone and I didn't want to call too early. Um, so that's what we're going to look for. And I had another customer get hung up here when he went to open his material size, his material setup from the tool pathing side when he already had it open from the drawing side. And the, the error message is pretty clear, but it, it's a little different <laughs> before we flip over and look at the same tool values, the same material setups from the tool pathing side. So, Hopefully this will help you uh, if you had this problem. It may be something that you've already worked past, um, but I'm going to speak with him in a few minutes, uh, but I want to process this video and then it may help some other folks with either the material setup being open from both sides, both the tool pathing side and the material and the drawing side, or the, the issue of being sure that we're driving the spindle down the way we expect it, the way we've told the software to, to work with it. So, so what do you do if you have it set right? <clears throat> well, it means that the tip of the bit is not able to get down through the material plus the 20,000. So I could take it, you can take a Sharpie and mark the bit at the collet nut, um, remove the spindle and pull it out just, you know, the little bit that it needs more. Uh, one thing you could test is you could also move the spindle away from the material and using the control pad at the machine, just use the up and down arrow in Z and see how far you can get the tip down. If the tip can go to the material, uh, to the machine bed or the spool board, then you know that you're okay there. Um, it's not a physical, you, you'll know that it's not a physical problem. It's something in the software. Uh, so those are the things to check. And uh, I'm going to get with David in a little bit and we'll get him squared away and underway. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email or... Uh, you can do them in the comments, I guess. I don't really look at the comments. I'm not a social media guy, really, but uh, happy to help in any way I can. That's Eric Schiller at yetismartbench.com, www.yetismartbench.com.